Um, hopefully I get Daniel. I mean, John got to deal with other, other people besides worrying about me or me worrying about him. So I'm not really focused on John. You know, I got, I, hell, before I get to Daniel, I got to get past this beast that's to my left over here. That's a Brazilian killing machine, you know, Glover. So, um, yeah, that's, I'm just focused on that and not really worried about either one of those guys. Thanks, I'll ask the same thing for Glover, if I could, please. I think most people consider this an number one contender fight, but, you know, if you're able to get past Anthony Johnson, what drives most to be on John Jones or on Dana Cormier? Uh, Dana Cormier is the champion now, so, uh, you know, that's why I ask uh, the fight with Anthony Johnson first, because uh, he's the number one contender, and, uh, you know, I, I have to beat him so I can, can fight for the title, and, uh, after this fight, yeah, we fight for the title. Daniel Cormier, you know, already saying, I, I, uh, I don't know, I didn't hear from him, but I, I heard that Dan already say that they win this fight to fight for the title. I, I don't know what's going on with, with John Jones, and um, I don't really care either. Uh, I know this guy's, uh, you know, this fight is a very, it's going to be a very exciting fight, man. You know, it could be a, one of the best fights of the night or the quickest fight of the night, you know. Um, you know, like, you know, I say this before, we don't have to be here and promote fight and talking, you know, shit with each other. We know, we show, we show the way we fight. We come in the middle of the octagon and we throw bombs and, uh, this is the way this fight's gonna go down and, uh, and, uh, of course, I have to, to be aware of the, the, the power that you have and, um, not get caught when one of those punches. Be quicker, be faster and pressure. I think the fight is pretty much you know, equal. I mean, Glover's strong, I'm strong. It's, both of us are explosive and very powerful. So we'll, we'll see, you know, with, with a fight like this, when you got two guys who aren't afraid to, to throw down, sometimes speed plays a, you know, key role in this, and sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on who comes in, you know, who, who, make, who, who makes the least amount of mistakes in this fight. In my opinion, that's what's going to be the, the, big, the, big, the big thing with this fight. Oh, I prepare for everything, man. You know, I'm, uh, I know Anthony have uh, some uh, great wrestling, you know, and uh, you know I have some good wrestling as well. And uh, I see, you know, see how the fight goes. You know, I'm not, yeah, I have, I'm, uh, I've been in this sport for a while, so um, you know, I see where the fight goes. What's open? You know, if he let the uh, open over there, I will try to take him down. I'm, I'm aware that he will try to take me down too. It depends uh, of the opening, so I'm prepared for everything. So you know, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm gonna stand there and strike with him or or not take him to the ground. You know, this is an MMA fight. That's why it makes the the sport so exciting. And when you fight guys like that, you know, you have to train for everything. Everything. Rest. I have. I bring the wrestlers in. I bring uh, kickboxers and uh, you know a lot of jiu-jitsu guys. So I'm ready. Hopefully, when I hit him, he stays down. He doesn't get back up like he did last time. Um, make sure my wrestling, my grappling is on point, and just you know, just keep pushing myself to get better and better. And you know, hopefully that time comes. Wait, fuck. So, um, I'll stop talking about Daniel and John. I gotta fight Glover, man. I'm tired of hearing that name. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know. Um it's all relative. I, I feel I feel great right now. I feel great, uh, you know, training wise. And, uh, in, in the gym, you know, I'm t I, t I told people before I, I felt that great in my fights. Uh, was like uh, San Peru fight and the Maldonado fight. That's how I feel. Uh, you know, I, I feel that great. The way I'm feeling right now, feeling feeling in a very good shape. And I can't say. To you, you know, what's the future hold? Like, you know, I don't know. Um, like Chuck used to say, you know, the day that I'm going to gym and um, and I feel that I don't have on me anymore, I, don't, I feel that I don't want to train anymore, and I feel I'm getting beat up by uh, sparring partners, and that that's the day I'm probably gonna call them and quit, you know. But uh, that doesn't happen yet, you know. Uh, I, I just keep fighting and uh, keep that dream alive, man.